Welcome to Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. Today we're talking about the subject of misery, and misery comes in our shapes and forms for many different reasons. You might be miserable because uh, something that you put your hopes on or or, or a deal that you was planning to go through didn't go through and you became upset and you get miserable behind that and, you know, you get to yourself and the sort of depression or whatever kicks in, you know, because you didn't find a way to overcome it. You know, you fall off the horse, get back on it, or you fall down, get back up and keep trying because nothing beats a try. Then there's this other misery, um, that you get from being around miserable people, being around miserable energy. You have people who uh, may have suffered something in life, such as a loss of a loved one. They could have been abused as a child. Um, Their hopes and dreams didn't come through. And so they are became a negative entity and you might wonder why uh, you are being sucked in or feel a sort of uh, discomfort every time you're around this person and that's simply because you allow that miserable person to attach themselves to your person and they're drawing on you. They're pulling on you. And, you know, you may be a nice person and don't want to say, oh, I can't deal with this person. Or you feel like since it's a family member that you're obligated to deal with this miserable person and you're wrong. You're not. Uh, the whole goal and purpose of you even being on the planet is to pursue your goals and talents at peace. You know, some people don't like to deal or look at themselves in a mirror and deal with their personal issues. They just uh, let it uh, blanket their whole lives and everyone that's around them. You might notice it, but you knew nothing about it. And over time, that misery starts to eat you away. And now you're upset and you become a negative entity and Your passions and motivations are squandered because you're so upset and you start doubting yourself and I can't do this and it's never going to work out for me and whatnot. And that first miserable entity that you encountered uh, felt that way and it wanted a company. That's why it says misery loves company. And it does. You know, uh, they didn't figure out or have the the strength within themselves to pull out of the situation. So they feel like their goal and job is, is to gather as many lost souls or make as many people miserable as they are as possible. And they go on their task. You know, that's their job. You know, uh, different terms of that, you might say, oh, man, you're a hater. But the reason being is because they don't want your light to outshine their light. So they think of ways. They allow on you. Uh, they'll spread propaganda on you. They'll be two-faced. They'll do that behind your back simply because they want to create a character or they want people to follow their idea of what they think you are and what you, or what you shouldn't be. Uh, example is you come up with a brilliant idea, right? You know, something like, you know what, I want to uh, start me a, a shoe line. I like shoes. I, I, you know, and they see it. And now you're telling a person who, uh, not an expert in shoes. They don't know the proper stitching. They don't know anything dealing with shoes. And they tell you, oh, that's going to be hard. I don't think that's going to work. That's why they tell you if you don't feed your pearls to swine, 
if you have something ideal, especially it comes from the creator, the light bulb goes off in your head, you're getting ready to move on it, keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself and just move on it. And they'll find out when they uh, happen to see your invention or your ideas or your goals, when they see them uh, coming to fruition. And that's where it's too late. They still, now, they still, still not going to support you. They're still not going to uh, give you a congratulations or a thumbs up or whatnot. You know, they'll say, uh, well, if, if if it was my idea, I would have added this to it or I would, you know, it, because it's some, it's a pain within them that can't allow them to share in happiness or create peace. That's why you see people, you would ask them, you know, you had an, an, an opportunity to uh, build something great for yourself or uh, why did you squander it? Why did you turn left when you should have went right, you know, because sometimes people can't handle success. Sometimes people have such a um, self-doubt uh, that is so strong that they can't overcome it or they refuse to seek help or they try to hide it or they, or they'll say, well, you know what, well, one day I'll get over it, but they don't uh, put in the necessary steps to get over it so it covers them for life i mean and 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 i used to hear the old saying uh the worst thing than a young fool is an old fool you know old fool who continues to make the same mistakes over and over again and not check the progress and say, hey, wait a minute. I mean, they fall for the same traps, not willing to educate themselves on their own selves, meaning not willing to master themselves and study where they went wrong or what could they do to improve a situation or um, um, what possibly that they can do the next time better than what they did the last time or self-mastery. Uh, study yourself. That's one of the greatest studies that you can do is to learn who you are and learn about yourself. Learn your weaknesses. Learn your strengths. Learn the things you like to do, the things you don't like to do. That's power. That's power. Now, in this Internet age, world, YouTube, Google, information age, it's knowledge all over, you know, uh, and and it's examples all over uh things that happened in the past that you can learn from don't just blindly walk right into a situation that you saw someone that walked into previously before you and suffer the same fate because you can learn from that situation and so i see where they went wrong uh uh i won't do this or i'll add more of this to that so i can get a different outcome and that's the whole purpose because the thing about it is is people enjoy people uh, that is uh, innovative and uh, uh, cheerful and spread joy and whatnot because there's so much misery on the planet. You know, people are not... Uh, researching and finding new ways to uplift themselves or climb to a high level. Don't, 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 don't ever listen to someone who uh, will ask you, well, and, and meaning you, you're gaining ground and they'll ask you, you don't think you have too much? There's no limit to blessings that the creator, the most high, uh, feels that he wants to bless you, there's no limit to that. Like, I better stop here. Why? Why? Uh, uh, the creator didn't say, okay, well, I created a half a planet. I better stop here. You know? Nah, we're going we gonna to go in this universe as, as, as vast as it is. We're going to go in... And, and and build beyond and 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 keep moving and keep discovering and keep building. That's uh the one of the basis of a pursuit 
of happiness because you always seeking or you always looking forward. You in pursuit because what what was once yesterday that was in that uh, space and time. You have to create and keep evolving into a new space and time. You cannot live forever on yesterday. You know, and, and this goes out through uh, the whole planet. You know, you most people who haven't accomplished goals or or are not seeking to gain higher ground in life will always revert back to a time in their past when things were good. And that's it. And they hold that memory. They know the feeling. They know what it tastes, feel like, smell like. I mean, they treasure that past event. And you say, okay, well, like life, well, life asking you, okay, well, what have you done lately? What are you currently working on? What are you building on? What are your thoughts? You know, uh, what, what's the problem? You know, because you have to remember that it's the internal you. And what's within you is the basis of what's uh on the outside of you, meaning what's within you will show up uh, in the outside world. If you're thinking negative, you have negative results and it will reflect itself. And wise people don't mean to be uh, rude. They just, hey, you know, get yourself together and we can deal. But right now, I don't need all that negative around. I mean, you know, hey, I'm not judging you or whatnot, but I'm, I'm, uh, I have eyes. I'm seeing what's going on. You know, I don't want to partake in it. You know, uh, or they'll stop and say, "Look, I see the rut that you're in. Uh, what are you doing to, to fix it?" And if they're like, "Well, you know, I'm not doing too much," you know, uh, one day it might get better. And they're like, "Okay, cool," because you got to realize people like people will help those who want to help themselves, but if you're not making any effort and plans in their mindset, it's like it's a waste of time dealing with uh, this person. There's nothing solid coming out of here, so let me keep on moving, you know. But uh, I say this to say that think about this. To show you your greatness, though, from the beginning, think about how many millions of, 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 of sperm that's traveling down that fallopia tube to go fertilize that egg, and only you made it. Then you start uh, building yourself and, and and eating from the 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 food of your your mother. But first, you turn around and use your brothers and sisters that sperm as food to survive on to sustain yourself. And you call yourself into existence. You're growing nine months. Uh, later, bam, you on the planet, you know, and from that point on, you're crawling. Then you, you're walking, you know. Then you're trying to, uh, you're learning your ABCs, you're learning how to talk. You know, things moving fine up until that point. Things are is going on. Then all of a sudden, you may realize, damn, um, you might have been born to a British parents. You might uh, be born to a a, a single uh, parent household. Uh, you start noticing negativity or misery around you, and you're like, "Man, my happiness! I'm on this planet. My hopes and dreams is is this it?" But you've got to fail to realize that the um, the womb, let's say, that you chose to come down here through is just is that it, it, it's just that. Meaning in the beginning was a word. So the uh, things were uh shaping and taking form and things were being invented and built before you were here and that formula and that process still exists. Grab the formula, grab the process, use it for yourself and keep moving. And realize that your mother and father, because the only way you can get down here, it was, a, it was a transportation route for you to get here. You know, so don't let their um, past mistakes or don't judge them. 
too harshly because they wasn't the God. They were entities for you to get down here. And, of course, you love that womb and, and you love your father for uh, giving you uh, life or creating life so you can get down here to enjoy this life's experience. And you love them for that. But the mission is on you because you might don't follow in their footsteps. You might don't want the same things that they want. You might don't want to live in the same city that they lived in. You got your likes. Their favorite color could be blue. Yours could be uh, green. You are an individual. They may have certain talents. You might have different talents. You cultivate that gift because you are a gift to the world to help this society and to help uh uh, the, the, the human, human, human man and woman to make it, uh, uh, better on the planet by sharing your gifts and by sharing your talents. Uh, it becomes a benefit to all. Uh, example, uh, uh cellular phones, uh, uh, communications, uh, things that were invented to help make uh, life on this earth uh, a little easier uh, to come up with uh, 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 you might your life experience uh, what you might call negative you can turn it into a positive because trust me someone else out there going through the same thing that you've been through that became a psychologist and will help you work through it from a life experience and the will to uh, help People not go through the heartache and pain that they went through by giving them a solution or an outlet to help them overcome their problems. You know, and and that that one you save uh, helps uh, man and woman. You know, so keep thriving. You know, and in this um, broadcast, this um, post. Uh, it's, be, it's simply because we're getting ready to go into 2019. And every year I, I state, do not drag that old miserable self into 2019. New year, new beginning. Be a new you. Get more. Uh, go for abundance. Be the best you you can be. And if you're around a, a lot of negativity, do your damnness to uh Excommunicate yourself to separate, separate from misery. Because if you hang around it too long, it will engulf you. You will get upset and start blaming that person, saying, I could have been this, I could have did this, you know, but I wasted my time dealing with your miserable ass. Don't get to that point. You know what I mean? Uh, go for, because that person didn't bring you into this world. Go for your dreams that you aspire to be uh, and that initial happy feeling that you felt when you accomplished something and you felt like you was on top of the world. And that means that that was one. You got to go get another one. And you got to keep moving because that the first initial happy feeling was just that. You can't get that back. You got to go create something new. You got to go create something new. You got to keep reinventing yourself because uh, what was good yesterday might not be good today. Time moves on. People evolve. New things to discover. You know, keep moving. You know what I mean? Uh, but think about it. The earth uh, as we know it today was not the earth 40 years ago. A lot of things changed. You getting uh, uh, a polar uh, ice caps are melting, and you getting more floods, and it's getting hotter, and uh, snows, uh, blizzards are coming a little earlier and whatnot. So we not on the we we on the same planet, but it it then it, it changed. But why? We got a lot of different theories, but a lot of it is whether they climate uh, climate change. A lot of it is due to the greed of man above their fellow man, meaning 
to, uh, uh, look here, you live by a lake to hell with you. I can cut a lot of costs by just dumping these chemicals in this lake. You know what I mean? And I can uh, keep my bonus and live high on the horse. And, hey, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Yeah, the greed of man. But the people who sit around and don't say, hey, hey, that's wrong. Don't do this. Look, I'm on this planet, too. We share this planet. Don't mess up my planet. I need this uh, fresh air. I need fresh water. I need vegetation. You know, so I can stay healthy and enjoy the fullness of my life. I don't want to mess around and get sick because you decided to uh, reroute the water system into some rusty lead pipes and got the people of Flint all sick. They didn't come down here for that. They wanted life and life more abundantly. You know, uh, the greed of man. You didn't give a damn. Let's, we just going to lead them up. You know, in Flint to save some money and make some money in the hell with uh, God's greatest creation because I feel like I'm I'm superior to them. So, you know, the hell with these people. It don't work like that. Karma is a bitch. You dig what I'm saying? That's a, that's a definite, you know. Um, you know, you heard that saying. And so we have to strive. You know, to make this home, this home planet, to make it a fun place, man. I'm so tired, bro. I'm serious. I'm tired of sit turning on the news and some damn fool running down with a gun and gun up people or or or, or upset because they didn't have certain advantages, so they gonna get a gun and snub somebody out because. Uh, they were jealous of their success, you know, or try to tell somebody you don't deserve all that, you don't need all that, you know. You need to, you, what they saying is, I don't have much, so you need to downscale yourself to where I'm at so we can be equals. You know, if you cared about me, uh, you, you you, you wouldn't go after the goal. You wouldn't outshine me. You wouldn't outdo do me if you cared about me. You've been the same red as I am so you can feel my pain. You know what I mean? How can you feel my pain if you're not going through the same thing I'm going through? And maybe nobody wants to feel your pain. That's your pain. They want to experience what they want to experience. As we state, God didn't create two snowflakes the same. You know, uh, things, uh, there is, there's a thing called a difference. People are different. They don't, everybody's not one carbon copy because everyone has a different talent. Some people might love nature. They love to study plants. You know what I mean? Some might be carpenter, they like to build things. Some might be tech geniuses. I mean, some like sports athletics. Some are in in the uh, the building of the mind, body and soul. Some spiritual. You know, it's just a rate. Don't meaning don't let nobody handcuff you and saying that you have to be miserable like them. You know, you got an ideal, and you might say, you know what, I want to become an artist. I don't let nobody tell you, well, you know, artists don't pay much, and plus I know you, you you wouldn't be a good artist. That's just because they haven't discovered themselves and their goals and who they want to be. And if you listen to them, you become the fool. You know, they're, they're like, well, uh, what quiet criteria is did that person have that made you listen to their word? What authority did they have over you? What degrees did they have? I mean, who is this person that you took advice from? Uh, what are they past records? What are they examples of success? And you like, well, all my life, I never really knew them to do too much or nothing. So what the hell are you listening to them for? You know? Come on, man. We, I mean, we got to get on in, in uh, black people. 2019 has to be our year. We got to stop the police brutality. 
We got to start building businesses. We got to start thinking black economics. Uh, you know, we have to start uh, cultivating cultivating our talent to help society. You know, society not going to make it without us. We have to uh, give good messages to the youth. To build them up. We need more of the youth involved in uh, science, mathematics, uh, space exploration. I mean, it, the world is so vast, man. It's, the world is just it's bigger than your neighborhood. It's bigger than your block. The world is it's, 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 it's bigger than, uh, you know, what we think is... On and popping, man. The world is so it's so many things we can get into to build. You know, we can get into the oil industry, get in I mean tech industry. It's just so it's an array of things that's out there to be discovered. You know? Be a person who do documentaries and travel the world. Go to different countries. Learn, learn different languages, learn different cultures, because you are all. Because when you do that, you see the similarities into your culture. You know, a genealogy research and study, study history, uh, study the foundation of things, study mathematics. I mean, it's just so much. It's unlimited. You know, God gave us a big field uh, to play in. You know, big fields await for the wide awakened man. Uh, you know, that's the teachings, that's the lessons. It, it, and it is. It's so much, man, out there to do. Build. You got YouTube and social media, folks starting their own uh, channels and their own podcasts, and they setting studios up in their homes and creating new music and putting it out. And not everybody want to be, uh, you know, all out front and on 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 in on stage or meaning. Not everybody want to be the be Jay Z. Some people just want to be themselves, enjoy music. You know, share with those who like that type of music. You know, do some shows, make some money, support their family, meaning as a secondary in- income, like Karis once stated on Everyday People the Movie Part 1. Go check it out on YouTube if you ha- have this Everyday People the Movie um, on YouTube. And also, Verbal Pick Radio, get your gear. Christmas coming up. Get your EDP wear. Go to verbalpickradio.com slash shop and go to town. And enjoy. Uh, Verbal Pick Radio, we're out.